Hey, welcome back everyone. It's been a while since our last update, so I'll try my best to get us all caught up in the next four minutes. Starting with the exterior, the brickwork is very close to being complete and we are currently preparing for the metal panel and cowall systems, but I'll talk more about those systems in later updates when they are being installed. Walking through the main entrance, you may notice that the biggest change is the main stair. We still have a lot of work to do, but the structure has been erected and the concrete treads have been poured, making these stairs perfectly safe for use. Another project coming up in the next couple of weeks is the building's elevator. We will talk more about this in later updates during the install. Walking down the main corridor, you can see that we have completed the interior masonry work. We are also very close to finishing all of the overhead MEPs on the first level, and we've even started a lot of the ceilings on this first level as well. The next stop is the HVAC chiller room, which houses the HRC unit, or the heat recovery chiller. The HRC is a system that greatly saves energy and reduces the carbon footprint by extracting heat from the chiller rather than wasting or dumping that heat created. You can see that chiller on the left as we were walking in. Please don't mind one of the foremen in front of me who thinks I'm taking photos this whole time. The last stop on this floor is the HVAC boiler room which contains the boilers. These boilers will heat water and pump it through the building until it reaches the radiant panels located in the ceilings. The radiant panels will then absorb the heat and radiate the air around it causing an increase in the room's temperature. Heading up to level 2, you will see that one of the biggest differences is the paint. However, we have also started the install of some of the gym equipment, the most noticeable being the basketball hoops. We have also installed some of the light fixtures, the HVAC spiral duct, and we even have the scoreboard starting in the next couple of weeks. This area will be a constant in these videos, mainly because of the sheer amount of work that will be happening these last few months. Heading up to level 3, our first stop is a hot water distribution room. Please pay no attention to the struggle I am having climbing up the ship's ladder. When I turn around, you can see just how steep they are. Getting back on track, the two large tanks in front of me are the hot water boilers. These boilers are used to heat water needed for sinks, showers, and all other domestic hot water needs. On my left, this large equipment is an AHU, which stands for Air Handling Unit. Air handlers condition and distribute air within the building. They take fresh air from outside, heat and or cool it, and force it through the ductwork that has been installed throughout the building. This AHU is number 13, and it feeds the locker rooms on the first level. Climbing up to the mezzanine, we have AHUs 10, 11, and 14. These systems feed the main gymnasiums and the kitchen. Please join us in the next update where we will spend some time looking at and discussing electrical and fire protection.